hope it doesn't take too long. Zolman, how about I ask him for help? Ugh. Okay, let's get off this. Another mission, the powers have called me away. Another time to carry the colors again. My motivation and no house won't be the fan. To win the honor of coming back home again. No explanation will matter after we begin. I'm not the dark, destroy our max barrier. What is up guys, it's me, KCR View Kids from the Kids Shows. And today I'm continuing with this Disney sequel month. Okay. I wonder what's on the list now. A hunchback of Mocha um two Oh no Let's get on with it. Hey! You guys remember how awesomely dark the first Hunchback of Notre Dame movie was? How great writing it was? Had some funny moments? And had a really awesome video and just Claude Frodo? Well, Disney decided they want to ruin it with a sequel. Ugh. Yes, folks, this is the Hunchback of Notre Dame 2. Yo, this one, and Esmeralda, like, Captain has his own kid, and he's a noxious little brat. And they also gave Quasimodo a new love interest. You're right, a love interest. I think that stupidity speaks for itself. Do you want to know what a bad sequel is like? Like, one of the worst kind of sequels is a straight up insult to his predecessor? This is one of those perfect examples. It's just that bad, people. That's when the villain really sucks. I mean, I'm serious. It's, it's In this film, he wants to steal an old bell with diamonds and jewels inside of it. And, and guess where it's at? The at Notre Dame. That's right. We've gone from a deep and complex villain like Judge Claude Frodo and got this jerk. Judge Claude Frodo, if he was still alive, he would probably just face part himself of what a lack of a great villain this guy is. It's just that dumb. Nothing left to say. Okay, scratch one bad sequel. Now for another one. It. 101 Dalmatian Pat's London Adventure. Hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, yet another sequel that no one asked for. But yet we got it anyway. Well, to be fair, this movie isn't that bad, per se. And, well, one thing is suffering the same problem the Lady and Tramp 2 had, and having Pat. A character that did little to nothing in the first film be the main character in the sequel. But, well, I don't really remember that much about Patch outside of him being a fan of the Thunderbolt on TV. He, but that's pretty much it. He literally done nothing of value. Well, kind of think about how come Lucky wasn't the main character in this film? Well, I mean, he was the puppy that was close to death, but wasn't. And I guess it was a lucky pup. So. Why Patch was lucky? I don't know, was he more marketable? Was it because he was a fan of Thunderbolt? No, your guess is as good as mine. And of course it tells a tale about how Patch got separated from his family and him not wanting to move. Yeah, that kind of, I don't want to move to a new home because I like this home better kind of story. But yeah, it's hard to move, but sometimes you gotta do it. And well, that was executed pretty well here. And, well... Also, Kuwata the Villa's back as being the main villain in this film, so that's also a win. And, and well, she wants the same thing she wanted in the last movie. Hey, to make coats out of those puppies! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> huh. Never get tired of that. But, 
yeah, this is a pretty good sequel. Well, oh, I was actually an okay one. It wasn't good, it wasn't bad, it was just mediocre. And, and well, it could have been far worse. Eh. Well, I mean, it was so bad. And, eh. Heck of a just keep on making I'll finally get another. Apparently this one, I'm going to take a look at Atlantis 2, Milo's Return. Yet another sequel that no one wanted, but we got anyway. That's right, folks. Milo's Return. And, and well, we didn't want him to return. You guys remember how awesome the first film was? It, I mean, we all saw Atlantis, thought it was grand, epic, and now... It's just sad to have a sequel. Anyway, this takes place a while after Milo and Big Adventures in Atlantis. And he decided to stay and marry the princess. But, of course, that they're going to have some mishaps. As for example, there are some kind of monsters appearing on the surface world wreaking havoc. And it's up to Milo and his friends to stop them. And, well, oh, it's a threeper. Yeah, apparently... Apparently, this, they're trying to make a TV show out of this. Oh, boy. And, well, much like, it, like the other ones I talked about, this one's pretty bad. It was trying to be a three-episode cartoon thing. A pilot for a TV show. Oh, fun fact. I have discovered from a friend of mine that Demona from Gargoyles was supposed to appear in one of these things. But, sadly, it was dropped out. Too bad it would have made things a whole lot better. Anyway. We also got these three stories. One where Milo and his friends had to deal with a Kraken. The other one, they had to go to an Indian village and take care of some spiritual stuff. And the last one has something to do with Ragnarok. That's right, Thor, Odin... Low key, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's it's just 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 crazy. And the vision born and interesting. And I think that's the biggest crime you can give to this film. A um, born and interesting. I mean, sheesh. Ugh. Well, scratch another one. Let's get on to the next one. Stitch the movie. Well, apparently after the huge success of Lilo and Stitch, they decided to make a TV pilot movie. That's right, it's just like the last one, except this one's done a lot better. It's a movie slash pilot slash sequel to the first one. And, and well, it's pretty, pretty well done. And well, it sets up the, the cartoon show that was a huge hit. And, and well... And well, this movie takes place a while after the first film, where evil Captain Genju, who is now working for Dr. Jumbo Chukipa, a alien gerbil guy who wants revenge on Jumbo Chukipa for taking all the experiments. That's right, Stitch not the only one, there were dozens more. And well, spoiler alert, at the end of the film, all of Stitch's cousins has fell throughout all of Hawaii. Hmm. And of course, they're gonna have misadventures, and the cartoon show, no less. And of course, with all the experiments running wild, I went to Hawaii. I guess it's up to Stitch and Lilo to catch them all. Pokemon style. Well, okay, not Pokemon style per se, but by finding them, naming them, and finding them a, a new home. Which is pretty awesome of them to do. Well, and of course, they have to outrun Jumba, Captain Ginyu, and and Dr. John Brock Hampton for getting the experience and use their powers for evil. And, yeah, that's pretty much the plot of both the first movie and the show. Ah, well, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> one of the better sequels, mind you. Next one is The Lion King 1 and a Half. Hmm. That was a pretty interesting yet pretty good movie. It tells a tale of Timon and Puma's side of the story of the first film. Yep, it's how Timon and Puma actually first met, and how they raised Simba, and how they help him overthrow Scar so he can become king again. And honestly, Simba's right. 
He could have done it without Timon and Puma. These guys may be a couple of goofballs. Of those who are on the belt. Are they bugs or grubs or whatever they want to call them? Um, and of course, I teach them out the way of Akuna Matata. Ain't no passing friends. And this film is definitely a, a very good Akuna Matata. And now, Lion Cards officially 5 for 5. It's the first one, Simba's Pride, Lion King 1 and a half. It's Remake, and The Lion Guard. I guess it's just physically impossible for me for disliking anything related to The Lion King. And yes, even Timon and Pumbaa's spinoff. Oh, and, well, that's actually 6. <laughs> Almost forgot about that. Anyway, I really enjoyed this film. Not as much as the first one, or even Simba's Pride, but still, it's a pretty good one. And, well, I guess I got a few more to go. <laughs> that kicks out a Lion King one I have now for... Oh. 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 Farewell, friends. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and DeviantArt.